Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, someone in the live chat was just saying, John, it's time to go live. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> um, there's a 30, 30 second, 20 second delay um, uh, put into the system. So what I just said, what you just heard, I said 20 seconds ago. So I'm, I suppose I should start broadcasting uh, 20 seconds early so I'm on time. Anyway, uh, latency. Welcome to two, <laughs> my, my today's live stream. Uh, we, uh, as you might be able to might think, I'm a little bit disorganized today, but you'll see that I'm not at all. Uh, um, just want to say welcome to everybody. Uh, first off, um, well, there's several things to say. It is September 11th uh, and the 20th anniversary um, of that thing that happened to us that um, probably doesn't need to be discussed, but it is on my mind and I imagine on yours. Uh, second, uh, Isaac ate a daisy. Uh, so you may hear him barking in the background. He's completely recovered, uh, down and up, and took him to the vet and, and, and all of that. And uh, now he's just super energetic. And <laughs> you may hear him, I guess I just gave him a bone. And so he might be good for like 10 minutes, but otherwise it's gonna be bark, 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 bark. Um, uh, right. So, uh, wanted to say uh, thank you, Chuck, for your donation. Um, he says in his super chat, helping family move today. Fun, fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll catch the replay, but wanted to say hello in person. Um, hello, Chuck. Welcome. Uh, and let's see, a couple of updates. Um, the course is now being offered, uh, if I should share that. If you go to professorslots.com, you'll see a link uh, over here uh, to, to uh, get my online course. Um, I attempted to sell it for more, and I messed it up. Uh, so I will figure out how to re uh, not increase it by $100 some other time. Perhaps, uh, you know, less would help people transition. So it is um, uh, it is un uh, uh back at $97. And we, we can talk about that, but you've seen me talk about that enough. Um, let me not share that. Today, we're going to talk about return statistics. I got a question, I think it was during last week's live stream, which was, you know, it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. What, you know, the, the casinos are really kind of go going tight and going loose. And what the heck is that all about? Um, and one of the things that happens is it can be subjective. Um, if it, you know, sometimes if you're feeling just the emotion of the day, your experience was maybe different from the crowd's experience, and so maybe you lost, and maybe the casino overall didn't, or vice versa. I try and I'm trying to create situations where everybody else loses, but you win. <laughs> That's what my strategies are about. But um, people have been saying, you know, I go in and I win, then I go in, try to do the same thing, same day, same time, and and instead of winning, lose. And, uh, you know, that's that's a puzzler. So it has been a crazy two years. All the casinos closed yes, last year. It might happen again this year. I hope not. But if that happens, then it happens. Uh, but we've been through it once last year. Uh, and so, you know, a lot of people have these feelings uh, and their observations. And some people are better observers than others. You've been me, with me for a while. you may have gotten improved in your observation skills because it can help you win. And I go into detail about that on my winning strategies. But today, I wanted to say, let's look at the statistics. Let's look at the return statistics given to casino, given to the state uh, from casinos in that state. There are a bunch uh, I'm thinking it's 18, but it might be 17. So there's slow changes over time. Uh, 18 states that provide monthly return statistics. Uh, there's a few others that do like annual. And then there's six that do uh, return statistics broken down by slot machine denomination. Uh, 
Now, most of these are by casino, but places like Louisiana will combine a bunch of casinos in a certain portion of the state. So they, they separate this out by region. Now, uh, what we're looking at here today is win percent. This is a bunch of statistics. It's a bunch of numbers. I uh, found it very relaxing and calming yesterday after worrying so much about Isaac being sick uh, that and while he recovered, that I did six, nine hours of just typing in numbers and producing graphs. And so we're going to look through some of that and look at these trends that I'm finding. But I want to explain to you what it is that we're doing. So uh, I've seen some people on um, my Facebook group, which doesn't require anybody to have taken the course or anything, um, or uh, there's a few of us are trying to, you know, hold hold the line <laughs> who have taken the course. Um, but a lot of people are like, what's payout? What's a payout percentage? And usually what happens is there's there's two uh, and they get confused. And so uh, I will briefly say there is a theoretical payout return, which is a state requirement. It is not a number. It is a range. So Ohio, uh, it's 85%, a minimum theoretical payout of 85%. A maximum, okay, <laughs> uh, we have a, uh, and I will show it in a moment. It has to sort of appear here. Uh, Frisky7 uh, gave me $1.77 uh, to, uh, in support of the show. I appreciate the donation very much, and I'll uh, show it as soon as it kind of shows up on the screen. But uh, Ohio, the state of Ohio, the U.S. state of Ohio has an 85%, uh, yes, 85% minimum theoretical payout. This is the lower limit which uh, for which slot machines cannot drop below by law. Uh, it isn't telling casinos to be at 75%. There you are, Fisky7. Uh, they're not saying that uh, to, they have to be at 75%. They, they say they have to be over, 75% or over. And by over, it could be over 100%. Now, why would they? Well, that's the topic of my, some of my strategies. Uh, they might do an isolated slot machine to encourage the rest of the crowd, blah, blah, blah. We talked about that before plenty of times. So, but if you go over to Pennsylvania, they too have a minimum theoretical payout of 85%, which is the setting that it can't be set below. And that's, and, and we'll be going, I'll, I'll show you more about these, but the point I'm trying to make is, um, uh, and I'll get to the chat in, in a little bit. I see messages coming in, uh, look great messages, <laughs> but, uh, Right, so in Pennsylvania, it is also minimum theoretical payout of 85%, but they have a maximum two of uh, uh, less than 100%, so 99.999. The cats are rambunctious. Last time they killed the power to the camera and I had to switch cameras. Um, later they'll be sleeping in the sun going, well, I had a busy day today. <laughs> So uh, it's been a little uh, crazy in the in the house lately with the dog being sick and the cats having uh, being young. Um, <laughs> uh, so Pennsylvania has a low, lower limit and an upper limit. Now one other bit of a detail, and I'll I've talked about this in the course. I talk about this occasionally here, but I haven't done it uh, as much lately. Is to talk about if there's these theoretical limits that there is a. Uh, further details which are important. Uh, and this, this live stream is not about theoretical payouts, but I need to tell you that, that, that this is one of the two kinds of payouts people talk about, and it's the one we're not going to talk about. But the detail is, is this minimum, sometimes maximum, and it's not all states have this, uh, is it per bet or is it over the lifetime of the machine? Now, if it's a machine that's only been there for like three days because it just showed up at the front of the casino and it's a lifetime requirement, then, you know, it's, there's hardly any difference. Um, if nobody likes it, they have to get rid of it and they have to make sure that their statistics are above that 75%. A lot of people like to go in and play new machines and they wonder why they lose. And this is a little detail that can help them have more confidence that they won't lose terribly on a new machine 
if the state gaming requirements on the theoretical payouts says lifetime um, or, or says per bet, then that's something to uh, keep in mind. Now, the other kind of payout is uh, anybody do business, right? You have a business plan and then for a month, like October, and then at the end of October, you have statistics, you have your actuals, uh, your accounting says this is what came in, this is what out, this is taxes, da da da. So there's also another kind of payout called actuals, or sometimes just returns, um, and that's what we're going to talk about. So there's two; they're related. Uh, there's win percent and hold percent, and what these are is you know. Uh, uh, zero to whatever number. If you have somebody uh, who won $7 million on a $5 denominator progressive, something like that, like that in Nevada, uh, you might get over 100%, but it's fairly rare. And it's usually because one person won a lot more than usual. Uh, so it's a percentage. <clears throat> The uh, it's related to the 70, the like Ohio has 75%, so it should be above that. It doesn't absolutely have to be, but it should, it should be and generally is. Otherwise, it's a sign of a problem, guys. <laughs> um, can you see him taking a bath? Uh, that is Emil, and Emil has been uh, 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 having arguments with the with uh, um. With Hetty, but I think Hetty is the instigator. So I'm trying to puzzle it out. I think the primary problem is they're young. In any case, uh, two new rescues I got a couple months ago. So these, this uh, actuals, these returns, these win percent, um, you really have to look at the rules. And I, I'm doing all this for you. I'm presenting win percent as how much a player wins. Uh, they put this much money in, or rather, I should say, the uh, overall for a casino in a particular month. Um, and I'm looking at casino averages and then also state averages for all the casinos in the state. And that means, um, uh, I see messages out of the corner of my eye. Uh, that means that uh, um, the win percent, that's what that means. Now the hold percent is how much the casino made. And sometimes the state uh, gaming commissions will say hold percent and mean win percent, or say win percent and mean hold mean home, home percent, hold percent. But I will be providing win percent uh, for the casino for the for the player at uh, uh, per state, and I'll do a little bit of a breakdown by casino or region in uh, the states as we go through them. <clears throat> The win percent, uh, player win percent, is how much they spent uh, total, uh, perhaps in a state or perhaps in a casino, uh, how much they spent in a month in a casino, uh, and then there's also how much they won. So one divided by spend, uh, and take that and make that a percentage, and that is how much. Uh, the win percent is so. Let us let us um, <laughs> uh, let us take a look at here. So I'm. Uh, this is a little bit uh, heavy with data. I, uh, it's partly why I'm not doing a script because I, I want to show you graphs. Now I apologize to the podcast listeners. Um, I'll try to be verbose uh, and explain. The, you know what what I'm seeing here, um, what we're all seeing here on the live stream. And I also want to apologize to the people who are looking are looking on, you know, <sighs> okay. Um, Apologize uh, for my bumping the cord for audio. Um, right, and we have questions coming in, and the questions uh, I'll get to those in a, uh, when it's a good time for a break. Um, so this is uh, the my main main website. If you hover your mouse over this section, uh, if you're on a on a phone, uh, you kind of have to, it's uh, three lines, uh, and you have to sort of open it up, and you can go to my summary article, 
uh, which is going to be, I, I do an article in every state, and I want to talk about several of those states. So what we're getting to is return statistics, and this is the return statistics. Let me get off the screen, uh, make that full screen so you can see it. Now, I'm going to go through these and explain them. Uh, this is uh, the data. Uh, and we talked about what date it is. It's win percent, and it's for a state. This this display is for a state average for a month. The red is where there's no information available. The yellow is where we're at. Um, some states are like four months behind. Uh, uh, Ohio is one of those. It's not shown on here. And I got as far as about halfway through Rhode Island. Uh, New York, Kentucky, and Ohio um, are a little more competitive computationally intensive, and my dog was sick. So my dog ate my homework, uh, but we'll, uh, I'll fill these, fill these out as time permits. And of course, when I give you an update in a couple of months, the yellow will be you know, extended further up and we'll have data for July. So some states are very three months behind, two months behind, uh, and others like Indiana are, they already, you know, it's September 11th and they already have August posted. So that's how uh, quickly it can be. Now, uh, right, so if I um, take you to where this data came from, because, you know, you're getting a snapshot right now uh, of what it, what we're doing and uh, what I'm doing, and it will need to be updated. So I want to show you what what's the expression? Uh, what's the expression? Um, teach you to fish. Not just give you fish. I'll give you some fish, but I also want to teach you how to fish because to get the most recent month is best to see how things are going as we look at whether or not these things are going up or going down or both, depending on the month. So if we go to uh, the summary article, this is, again, where the summary is. Uh, it's, uh, I'll, I'll put the link in the sum, in the description and in the show notes. Uh, it's professorslots.com slash, that is that, professorslots.com slash online dash resource. And uh, I'll have that in the show notes and uh, uh, description. So there's also links here, guys, um, uh, to the uh, Facebook groups. Uh, by the way, uh, Professor Slots Enthusiast has stopped having 300 new members every day. Uh, this was all being done because Facebook uh, was promoting it. I wasn't paying them to do so uh, uh, because you can't with gambling uh, and or related or having written a book. <laughs> Get out of here, guys. Uh, going to turn off my camera on me. Anyway, um, again. Uh, they it's it's dropped to three four a day, uh, and uh, that's just because Facebook decided you know that was enough. But six thousand in 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 August was great. So now I'm just a little bit shy of thirteen thousand members on my Professor Slots enthusiast. But it was giving me grief <laughs> all the stuff that was happening. Um, uh, just really more and more every day. Now, one of the cats, uh, if you like cats, is hiding behind me while the other one is like, I'm going to get you. And so uh, there's a spray bottle right over there. But um, is it play? Is it Ow! <laughs> John, next time wear shoes. Okay. Uh, enough of the entertainment. So we're looking at the data here. Um, uh, for Florida, let's start with 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 that. This is the graph, uh, and I want to show you just Florida. So that's the graph of everything. So I will show you just Florida, and this is uh, this is Miami Dade and Broward counties. This is the only uh, return statistics we get from Florida. We don't get it for the tribal casinos. We only get it for the commercial casinos, but only those in Miami-Dade and Broward counties near Miami. So uh, we have a gap here. This is how they're, a lot of uh, most or all of these are going to look. This is beginning in 2019, uh, ending with the most recently available, as of this morning, most recently available stats. Uh, this is for Florida, and there's a gap here from when they closed for the pandemic in 2020. 
And uh, we had talked about a few of these, but it's been lately. Um, uh, this is, you know, after they immediately after they reopened, they wanted to make money. So the returns were low. Uh, but then they jumped back up once they felt they made a couple months worth of money for their losses. Uh, and then they were pretty steady about getting people back in, but then they dropped a bit. And now they kind of come, come, came back up uh, to this is this last one is uh, for, for June. So that's the most recent data we have for Florida. And they kind of ticked it back up a little bit. Um, and so this one isn't too bad. They, over a year, uh, roughly from um, last uh, June to this July, uh, this June, uh, it tanked, shot back up, kind of came back down, and maybe it's starting to level back out to what it was in 2019 before all this started happening. Uh, but it's been down and up. Uh, uh, but I was thinking maybe every month, and this is more like over several months. So let's take a look where all this came from. So you have it. And we'll go do that here. Um, I'm going to skim on down. These are summary statements. Uh, we'll try Florida. And so this is my article uh, for Florida. Uh, I last did it in 2020. And December 29th, barely 2020. It has an introduction. It has uh, the video that I make, the podcast episode where I talk about it, legal statutes, uh, slot machine, private ownership, and what's the rule? What are the rules? Um, a bit on the gaming control board, but there's a separate set after casinos, tribal casinos, neighboring casinos. Uh, the, the Facebook group. Then just before the summary, see there's the summary, uh, just before the summary is payout and returns. And this is the structure on all my state-by-state -state articles. So there are, this is at the time when I wrote this, October 2020 was available and I listed them here for you. Uh, but if you go to this link that I provide and go to the Gaming Commission for Florida, then you can see all of these. So the most recent here is uh, uh, the full year, or at least up to this point. And so we have data for Gulfstream Park with credits in, credits out. You divide those two, uh, the second one by the first one, and take it a percentage, and then you get what I show on my graph. And then there's Big Easy, Pompano Park, uh, Magic City, Calder, Miami Casino, uh, Halea Park, Dania Beach, and then totals. So when I show you this, I'm taking that information, and uh, this is that information. This is the percentage. Now, if you want to see, this is the state totals, only that last entry. But, um, and we can already see the fluctuations. That's what we're looking for. If I show you Florida's, Yes, there is a total for Miami-Dade and Broward counties, but we also have the individual casinos that are in those two counties. From the beginning of uh, 2019, I did 2019 because it was all before the pandemic. We wanted to see what normal looked like when we compare all this. So you've seen some of this before, but now it's updated with the latest information. So let me zoom in a bit so we can kind of fill the screen here. Yeah. Uh, so it's about 90% to about 94%. You can, and, and sometimes people say, well, it's slot machines are random. And I'm like, well, yes, they are random, but they're not random like dice. If they were random where the wheels were freely turning like roulette wheels, the odds are around 3% that we'll win. Anytime we made a bet, we would win 3% of the time, not somewhere between 90 and and 94%. So, so the odds have been um, weighted, it's called a weighted average, so that it's a different kind of random, but still random. There's more than one kind of random. Uh, I remember when my mind kind of blew up when I first heard that. I think it was a different day from the time they told me, you know there's different size infinities, right? Anyway, uh, this is the uh, player win percent for Florida's eight commercial casinos in 2000. Well, it's more like for three years now. 
Um, and uh, if I were to hover over this one, you can see it's Isle Pompano. And it is uh, generally the lowest. And so when I talk to people about you know, it's not random. It's it's random, but a different kind of random than they're thinking. Uh, and I say casinos, you know, stay within the theoretical payout returns, but they, uh, uh, you know, it's not a number that the state gives them, but it's but a, rather a limit. And so they have a wide range in, to work within. And so each casino decides what their business requirements are, and chooses a return for players, and. Pompano happens out of these eight casinos happens to almost, you know, all but for two years, two and a half years. Um, there's one time here and one time there where they were not the lowest. And that's their business decision. Now, up here, you've got, um, let's see if I can hover that over it, uh, Halea Park in green and Magic City in brown, and they are competing for the top spot, the best returns. And if you live in Miami-Dade in Broward counties, maybe you'd want to know that. I mean, and, and so this is 2019 in the, uh, in the left side of the graph, but over on the right, and, and then we have this kind of like, it's always, if you go to every state and you look at this, the pandemic was, immediately after the pandemic was like a mess. Right, they're trying to make money back, but you know, back and forth. Da, 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 they don't know what to do. It's all a new experience, but then they get back to steady. So Florida, for uh, Magic City and for Halea Park, has been steady, and people going there are likely not to have that whole up and down and up and down experience. Some of us, some of us are seeing, but if you go to Pema. Uh, Pompano, uh, it has been up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, and basically up and down, up and down at the lowest. <laughs> so so um, all the others are above them, and, but they are still bouncing back and forth. Quite a gap between the two. Uh, remember to help you calibrate that when you um, – Think about payout returns. Two and a half percent is worthy of a backflip. I, I can't do it. You know, you're just so happy that it went up. And how much did it go up? About two and a half percent. Um, if it drops two and a half percent, you feel like it's just a terrible day. And and that's what we're talking about. That would be from here to about here. So about half the band here. Uh, if if that's what's changing in front of you, you don't like it. So. And may I point out, none of this is like near 75%. Dropping 25%, 20% would be would be disastrous for casinos. People would riot. Um, uh, 2.5% is worthy of a backflip. So what we have these others, um, like here we have Calder, and they, they're, they've been climbing the last few months. But then, and you've got uh, this, this is this black line here. Yeah show you how that works you know the, the state average with all those casinos that are high but stay high all those casinos that are low but stay low the state average has been you know even flatter than it was in 2019 uh, so uh, but it's the combination of of all of these casinos coming together and having you know this band of returns um, some of them are actually near the state average. Here we have uh, Dania Beach, and it's kind of bouncing up above, above, above and below the black line, which is the the the, the average. Okay, so uh, the process here um, that I want to work through, um, and I'll, I'm, I will quickly go through the other states for you. But before I do that, I will. Um, uh, get ready <laughs> uh, and we will uh, I'll take a look at the questions that I saw coming in on the live stream so coming back to the live chat uh, there's been questions let's get to them 
Right. Uh, we had some questions before everything started about doing well on TikTok. Um, yeah, I got 27,000 views. Normally, get like five, normally it's been like a week, beginning of last week. Um, and so uh, not even that, middle of last, no, September 1st, 11 days. And uh, they um, taking to it. <laughs> did, were you, did you see the live stream? Um, was it last time or the time before? Uh, they sent me a video on TikTok of Isaac getting training and it was like 49 sec seconds of just happy dog, uh, you know, following instructions. And uh, it was pretty awesome. And, but then I realized, yeah, I created a TikTok account, but I hadn't been using it. Someone else had uh, spoofed it, had uh, faked one. Uh, instead of at Professor Slots, they had at Professor underscore slots. Turns out he was a fan. Uh, they were a fan, might even be in the live stream. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to see that people were interested in his and he, he decided to uh, stop. <laughs> um, uh, it's just like a battle's raging here. Um, and and so now I've been posting every day uh, for the September so far. So 11 videos are up. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Oh, uh, uh, Haley um, uh, Crocodile Free Sheet Music. Um, we we uh, we've been chatting a lot uh, elsewhere. Uh, sheltering in sounds like he's having to deal with the pandemic, um, and. <laughs> Um, some side conversations. Uh, winds are slowly go getting more usual now, and uh, uh, just the casino I, I, he's somewhere in Europe after a few months of aperture. Uh, okay, uh, Jack Black, twenty six. Uh, glad to uh, get to join my first live uh, today. I've learned so much from you, and it has more uh, made me a more informed gambler. Thank you, Professor Slots. You're quite welcome. Quite welcome. Uh, let's see if there's a question um, uh, in this list. <laughs> uh, so, question: How much money do you bet max or low bets when you play five turns on slot machine? Um, this is my golden rule of slots: uh, whatever you can afford to, to comfortably afford to lose, whatever you take to the casino, you need to be comfortable with having lost it because it doesn't always work out. And if you're risking your mortgage or your rent, don't do that. So whatever you're comfortable with. Now there's some people who are not comfortable with a dollar bet. Okay. You know, it, it, it's a myth that bigger denominations have better returns. It's a myth. It's very popular misconception. <clears throat> um, I went to Nevada, we're, we'll be looking at return statistics, uh, but not by slot machine denomination. I went to Nevada one time and I was shocked. One month on just the new, uh, uh, just the strip, they were actually in order <laughs> by by denomination. And I'm like, well, I guess it can happen, you know, for, for since 1935, it hasn't, but okay, great. I, I, uh, but we have, um, so don't, you don't need to bet more to win more. You will bet if it's, that's a misconception. You, you have the opportunity to win more, but the odds aren't better to win more. Um, this is all the concept of win percent, uh, which uh, I'm assuming uh, people understand payout returns. Uh, so how much should you bet? Um, I like to be able to bet. Uh, this is not the five pull method. What, what I like to do is, um, well, okay, we'll talk about the five pull method. That's really what your question is. Minimum bets, whatever your casino has, minimum bets first to see if they have taste, which is the five spin method, is, is collecting taste. So be cheap about it. It, if they, it doesn't matter what machine it is. If the casino has it, the casino has it. You know, it's not a, some machines. It, you won't win on every machine, even if they do have it. But you can follow the test procedure that I provided of uh, playing 20 machines, if more than half of them uh, give you anything at all, uh, non-zero win, then they have it. But did you make a profit? Two evaluations. So 
uh, first check to see if they have it. Now I have uh, I have fans who are just like, nope, I'm gonna go make, I'm going to high limits. I'm going to high limits, uh, and I'm like, uh, maybe check first, please. Um, but we're all gamblers, so I would minimum bets, and then if it has, if the test passes, if it has it. And hopefully, if you make about a profit, bet like normal. And in general, when you bet like normal, you you bet what you can comfortably afford to lose. All right, uh, it's a responsible thing to do. Okay, um, Leticia, uh, it's been a while. Welcome. Uh, okay, conversations between everybody. Good, good, good. Uh, Joyce, I'd like to know about Louisiana. It seems like Lake Charles uh, area casinos are Golden Nugget and the Berg are tighter than ever before, I guess because of the time they had shut down for COVID. Uh, we talked about this in a prior episode um, when I showed the first part of this data and I'm updating now for most of 2021. Um, and, you know, we can, well, Louisiana is after Mississippi, New Jersey, Indiana, Iowa, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and then Louisiana. So we're going to quickly go through these, and I hope you don't miss it. Uh, and Devin, what is the standard deviation of Nevada's values? Uh, recent news reports indicates Nevada's record revenue levels. Is, if the payout values seem stable, then could they reassert that revenue is from other things? Um, all very good questions. And the standard deviation, um, uh, there's many. I mean, I don't mean different kinds of standard deviation. I mean, standard deviation of what? So I'm going to take your second question first, which is, uh, is the revenue from other things? No, it is not. Because when we go to Nevada, and I, I need to speed things up, uh, uh, when we go there, it actually says where the money comes from. Is it promotional dollars? Is it people winning on slot machines? Is it one of 15 different table games? It, uh, Nevada will even say what the dom domina denomination is. And they break it down by uh, casino revenue uh, as well as location. So you have the strip and there's like five different, eight different sheets on that because you have the really uh, uh, high revenue uh, casinos and the low revenue, and you have downtown, and you have North Las Vegas. All this is broken up into endless detail. So, yes, we know where it comes from. Now, uh, when they do their summary, we do have a statewide. We um, don't have a. Do we have a Las Vegas wide? We might have a. The, might, they may, might 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 make a Las Vegas wide available, but they do a statewide absolutely, and and. Um, it won't be stable. I mean, we're seeing some in our graphs now. We can see some of these are stable. Uh, I mean, just look at this one here. Uh, which one is that? That is uh, Illinois. The most stable one is Illinois, and that's this is not the casinos. This is the bars and taverns run by the where the machines are run remotely by the lottery system. So they're just and uh, if you're asking if that's going to happen, well, we can see if it ever happened again. Uh, let's look at, well, actually, we have a couple of questions that are very well related. So let's do Louisiana and keep going here. Questions from the, so this is Louisiana. If uh, for statewide and in Let's see, this is April, May, June. That's most recently, recent sets available. But So it's been going up. But uh, in uh, March, April, May, it was the lowest it's been since beginning of 2019. And maybe that's what's your question, um, Joyce. Uh, furthermore, I have additional data on Louisiana, which is by region, as I mentioned, uh, some states do this where they collect a bunch of casinos in a particular region, uh, and then I also have a total. So I, you were asking about Lake Charles maybe? Uh, so Lake Charles uh, has a certain number of casinos, um, and if we look at that, uh, we have two spikes 
here. Let's see if I can bring this in a little bit for you. Um, right, so in Lake Charles in October last year, they did a spike. Remember I said 2.5% is, is uh, worthy of a backflip? So this is almost uh, uh, 94, and typically they're right around uh, 90.5. So that was a jump of 3.5%. So something happened that month. Also at uh, uh, Shreveport, one, at one of the casinos, Shreveport, Bougier, uh, um, uh, in August, something also happened then. Now we're getting a climb lately in Lake Charles of improvement. But uh, I wouldn't say it's exactly stable. So I, I wonder what the next month is going to be continuing up or dropping down. From what you said, I would say it's probably going to drop based on your experience. Um, so they can jump quite a bit. And this is all you get from this is you can expect change. Now, we didn't see so much from Illinois. We didn't see so much uh, from Florida, uh, or at least some of the casinos in Florida. So this is a seems both to be happening. Some places have been very stable, like uh, Devin was saying, is it, uh, is it are these, uh, can we expect it to be stable? Can we not? Well, past history has shown, and this is not odds. This is deliberate, I want my number here, set to here. And so uh, the casino does that. And so um, if they want it to be stable, it'll be stable they don't want it to be stable that might be all they've ever done so let's switch to uh back to uh just nevada come on uh so i'll swing this over to nevada for you this is about uh, this band right here is one percent up to here is 2%, so 1%, uh, half a percent is one bar. Uh, and so uh, lately it's been jumping up and down by 0.5. Now, if we put these with all the others, and I probably should have done that first, um, you'll see that they are all high. This top one, here, boom, 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 boom. That's that's Nevada, just high, uh, not no real competition. Now this year, or really since March, it's they've got one competitor in Colorado who uh, beat them, and then another one from Rhode Island who beat them uh, and put them in the second place instead of first place. So when we last I pre last presented this, I was showing you these numbers several months ago, earlier in the year. Uh, but now that we see they're bringing them down a little bit, um, uh, you know, the C, um, New Jersey, that's stable. That's what stable looks like. See Nevada, that's not what stable looks like. I think, I think actual data instead of opinion, actual data uh, is um, a better way to answer your question about whether Nevada will become stable. Um, all right. Questions, questions, questions. Oh, darn it. Yes, uh, this top uh, is Nevada. And you can see how like New Jersey down here is uh, um, that's New Jersey. This is Nevada and Nevada is still swinging. And this is what non-swing around. This is what stable looks like from New Jersey. Uh, and let's see here. <laughs> um, uh, Haley has a question about how do stats work. Um, this is not a stats course. I'm going to uh, let you figure out uh, what averages mean. Caught alive, uh, Sheila. Uh, Sheila caught alive. Excellent. Um, and uh, does my system work in Vegas? Most of my videos seem to deal with tribal casinos. 
Okay. Uh, um, uh, I don't know how you got that impression. Um, oh, I get it. Uh, I had a series recently on what does it mean to be a tribal casino. Uh, I, I, I guess you've just been looking at those. Um, uh, right. So absolutely. Uh, five spoon method seems to work at most casinos on the strip. Uh, less casinos downtown. Uh, if you feel like you want to uh, learn more, uh, you can join my Facebook group. Not everybody likes the Facebook groups, uh, uh, probably for good reason. Um, but you can join my Nevada group. So professorslots.com slash FBNV. And that's the shortcut, and it'll take you right there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure in a month or so when I haven't done a tribal video, um, people will be like, why don't you do a tribal video? You're biased against them. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, when I watch live stream slot play, it seems like bigger. Um, okay, excellent question. When I watch live stream slot play, it seems like bigger, higher bets get bonuses more often. Is this true or just an illusion? It's an illusion. Uh, even Brian Christopher has completely, you know, has said out loud and on tape, you know, I, uh, he says, uh, remove long losing streaks. Also, uh, and this is this is part of the myth of misunderstanding, and I'm I'm, I'm trying to make a dent in people's misunderstandings. Uh, I guess people find it more exciting for them uh, when people play bigger bets. Um, doesn't necessarily mean the odds are better. Uh, so I, I did a survey uh, at the beginning of this year, and I asked them, you know, what's your main problem and several other questions. And they said, well, I don't have enough money to bring to the casino. I, uh, you know, if I brought more money, I'd win more often. I'm like, whoa, uh, that, I mean, that's dangerous. Uh, it's also not true. <laughs> I mean, you might win more because you played longer, but you wouldn't win percentage-wise, win percent. Um, you know, you might not be able to spend, uh, you know, ten thousand dollars or like these uh, slots players, uh, forty thousand uh, um, dollars. You know, that's what they make per month, and uh, they they just tell you themselves uh, in some of their videos. And I figured out a third goes to taxes. Am I wrong? A third goes to taxes, uh, and. So uh, that's maybe 15,000. 15, so that leaves them with 25,000. Uh, half of uh, what they make, uh, 20,000, will go back in. And so they will uh, to pay, play slot machines. So that leaves them with 5,000 of profit after taxes, after paying into the slot machines, uh, 5,000 per month, and they make about $60,000 a year. Easy math. Um, so, uh, and they're trying to make more money by, uh, that, that's, um, lady luck. She showed her numbers and it's easy enough to do a further analysis from what she didn't show. Uh, Brian Christopher, he, uh, does several a day. Um, he's probably at around $4 million, uh, dollars, uh, income, uh, not profit. He, again, one third to taxes, half to playing slots and the rest goes to his team on payment and i hope that he's able to save something uh right so uh uh like a cell uh florida hard rock Hollywood. Uh, that's a tribal casino. According to the state gaming requirements, uh, they don't have to, the, the, the compact. So if you were to go back to my Florida article, I write up all that. Um, so you understand, and I'll share that. So you understand, uh, you know, these are all the casinos in the state. Uh, you can see there's a concentration of them in, in uh, Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Uh, uh, these others, you know, uh, are tribal casinos. Uh, it's really close to uh, Miami, uh, but uh, under the return, um, let's see where are we at. 
under the Gaming Control Board, I talk about how there is commercial, but there's also uh, the IGRA, uh, the federal, and how they have a gaming compact. And so that's kept separate, separate and they have different rules. Um, and so you only have returns from Miami. Now we don't have returns from every state, but you can learn if your state doesn't have returns, you can learn from all these uh, other states um, uh, and you know, see you can see that they bounce up and down. You can see that they're stable. And now you, if you sense that your casinos are tight, then loose, tight, then loose. Sure, uh, it's completely possible. Now, if every one of these was like stable, which is interesting because one stable down here and one stable up there. Uh, that's you know, it's, this is data that shows casinos have their control um, and they have their choices and their business goals and they decide that they're going to be low or they decide that they're going to be high. Uh, but if they were all stable and your state doesn't have return statistics, then it's a good chance that your state's going to be like everybody else. But that's not the case. So far, we've looked at these and we should get back to that um, and, and see how uh, each state is stable or not. So I'm going to come back to here and I'm going to quickly go through Mississippi. Statewide, it looks like this, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't change the scale over here on the side. So it's just back and forth, back and forth. Uh, they they uh, took a lot of money from people uh, just when they knew they were going to close, but hadn't yet closed. When they opened back again, they took almost as much. I mean, this is, goes back to the beginning of 2019. Uh, they didn't get above, you know, it wasn't until August last year that they actually reached what they'd done at any point at the worst they'd done in 2019. And ever since then, you know, okay, they were okay. But then in uh, they dropped below 2019, any number in 2019 in March of this year, stayed there, stayed there, brought it up once, back down, brought it up. So that's just back and forth. And that's, if you're feeling that, and then, then you're then you're feeling that. But if we go to Mississippi, uh, we can also break it up. We, we can see which casinos did that, or rather, I should say, which regions, because there's several. Hello, that's the nice cat. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so three uh, states did, or rather, it's three regions in Mississippi with the. Um, and we could look at my article. Go to my article, understand the structure for that state, uh, for the gaming and the reporting. Uh, and if it even has it, if it doesn't, 18 of them do. And uh, this this graph shows you the plotting of the data since the beginning of 2019. Look at July, the most recent data, data available. Now, the, the dark line here, uh, no, not the dark line, the gray line. Nope. Uh, I want to, oh, um, I don't have, oh, Mississippi, right, 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 right. So the uh, yellow-ish, the lightest color is the uh, state average. So this kind of light orange, not the dark orange. Look what happened in, you know, it went from maybe just about the lowest uh, to just about the highest, certainly for the last two years. Uh, and so July was a good month. Now I wonder if it's going to be back down here for August because it's been back and forth. So that's just a lot of travel, a lot of back and forth. Uh, and that's what's going on there. Um, pet, pet, pet. Okay. Uh, that, that's Kiri. She's a nice one, but she does like attention occasionally. Uh, okay. Um, we can go back and look at, that's Mississippi. Have we done New Jersey? New Jersey, they uh, <laughs> dropped to a very low number after the pandemic uh, on average, slowly rose to give some money back, went over their lowest for the previous two years. Oh, um, back uh, in January, 
uh, uh, this is when they reopened some of the casinos and Atlantic City was making a, a revival. But if we look at, at it by uh, casino by casino, it's uh, there's a, a few casinos, so it makes it all kind of like messy. But you can see that consistently that Harrah's is across the top. You've seen that before. And they decided to pretty much stay where they were. Uh, but the, everybody else dropped. So it's like a gap between Harris and all the other casinos. Uh, it, you, it was the case that Borgata was wonderful, and they're still second best, uh, but they they decided to drop as well. Then you've got uh, then you've got what is it? Uh, Ocean, you know, who uh, they weren't too bad when they first got started, uh, but by the end of 2019, uh, beginning of 2020, they were just bottoming bottoming out and they are always the lowest this year but they often are so that's a business decision where they decided that as long as they stay above i think um, new jersey's 75 percent uh theoretical payout minimum so as long as they stay well above that but if you feel like you're losing when you're at ocean and you feel like you're winning uh when you're at harris but it's clearly available now uh, because you know consistently high for Harris means we don't have you know this month because this month isn't over. But you could begin to look at this and say, you know, they do don't do a lot of swinging back and forth. You know, this might be a time to go uh, to Atlantic City. But we are short. Um, uh, you know, August we don't have August yet, and maybe if you get August, you can make a decision about that. Uh, right. So let me get through. Oh, let me check the questions because you know when you do when you talk about stats, you can do, talk about them quite a bit. So I'm uh, I'm going to stop there and summarize by saying some states go back and forth every month, and and they may be recovering from the pandemic and they usually did that in a, they don't wait it's been a while more than a year year and a half when they reopened um april may 2020 they got their money back then probably all the, the you know the majority of what they needed and uh, felt that they needed and now they just keep things generally low this is the you know what we can see in the overall uh, win percentage for the 15 different states uh, that I'm trying to cover here. But you begin to see whether or not they, they, they become stable uh, with time. So let me share that on the screen so we all have that in front of us. And I know it can be a mess to, to look at some of these graphs and like, it's just numbers. Uh, but if you look at a graph like this and zoom in on it, and you look at the last few months, you can see it's been stable for some of these, uh, but on others like here for um, Mississippi, not so much. Uh, and that Nevada has been coming down. You know, when I presented on this early in the year, I'm like, look at that, baby. They're trying to recover. Uh, but they have dropped um, uh, into that gap where others are better than them in some months. And so, you know, what what does this mean? It means that, you know, if you look at November or N Nevada for a year and a half back here, this is their typical behavior. And now they're a little bit below all that. So if it becomes stable, I mean, again, New Jersey, that's what stable looks like. Here, Indiana, that's what stable looks like. I'm not seeing that in Nevada. Uh, um, do, 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 do. Um, Kissy, Kissy Cat says the newest resorts world uh, uh, casino on the strip is not paying much. Uh, everyone seems disappointed. Uh, if you go to professorslots.com slash ABC27, that will take you to an interview that I gave with Harrisburg, Pennsylvania evening news like the 11 o'clock news, uh, ABC 27. And if you go there, you can look at their analysis that I helped them with, where they're looking at their local casino and the best odds of that casino, uh, their nearby casino was on the, the week that, the, the year that they opened. 
It's the same way with downtown Cincinnati. Uh, it was second best was the second year, and the third year they decided to lower the numbers, and all my friends went into bankruptcy. But I was writing a book at that point, so I did not. Same thing was Belterra Park in Ohio, which is where I live, but Belterra Park only did it for a month. And then they dropped it. So how long has resorts been open? It would be very interesting to look at their data by month. And I don't know that it's necessarily out yet. All right. Uh, right. Yes. Um, And I want to mention that I do have an online course if you're interested. It explains all of this. I'm making this, uh, I have to figure out how to do it clearly. My statistics um, uh, don't come out very clearly except in video. Uh, and um, if I put it in an article, you can't zoom in. It's not interactive. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to make it available. But I feel it's valuable. So it's going to be high, it's going to be behind a paywall. I mean, this won't be. Uh, but in order to get your hands on it, uh, take the course. Um, sign up for my Slots Enthusiast uh, uh, Growth Network. And that's behind a paywall, both of them. And you get first, first month's access to the Slots Enthusiast Growth Network. Um, by uh, purchasing the online course. It's currently at a $100 off uh, discount. And so if you uh, go to my online course, you can see here, just kind of 50% off, uh, courses.professorslots.com. If you're interested in my uh, community, for which you get a free month's, act, a free month's worth, uh, paid community. If you go to that'll work, community.professorslots.com. Well, this is me logged in, so I probably have to do it. Um, I'd have to do it without uh, uh, privately. So, what I'm trying to say is I'm going to put these statistics there um, because it is, you know, took me hours and days and I've been working on it for this last year uh, and just, you know, but I've shown you how you can do it yourself for your state of interest. Uh, busy Mommy Reviews. Hey, it's been a while. Do you know if Seminole Casino Brighton still does one of your famous slots method? Number one, uh, uh, the, the five pull method. It, I haven't been uh, to see my father and his wife who was so interested in this. Um, uh, she passed away uh, last year and uh, suddenly and so uh you know they had it i think what happened from what i heard um and maybe lois and dave can comment because they're they're on, often on the live chat and they they still go there um uh, the whole family likes uh to play bingo there uh but i think it became more of a break even situation they didn't lose the five pull method but it became more of a break even situation um but i haven't been back uh since that trip that I took well before the pandemic. Uh, it's something I want to do is uh, get out that way again, partly to see my father, partly to see Dave and Lois, but also uh, maybe go over to Hard Rock Tampa and stick my head into that place and see if what I lose. <laughs> um, yes, uh, um, my father's second wife, um, not my mother, uh, wonderful person, uh, really enjoyed her slots. She got a hand pay, and then she came to me, and she's like, I want another one. How do I do that? So that's why I, I flew down there to see my father and to help her out. Uh, and that was early days. Yeah. Uh, but thank you. Okay. Uh, I am over, and I will uh, talk to everyone later. Um, you know, it's a 20-year anniversary of that tragic event. I don't know about you, but I think about where I was at the time. Um, so 20 year anniversary, just wanted to acknowledge that. Have fun, be safe, make good choices.